On more earnings analysis then, NTPC obviously in focus as well. Stocks aren't doing too much. It's uh, quite flat this Monday morning. Numbers came out over the weekend. Uh, Vivek is here with the details. How do they look, Vivek? Well, our stock's not doing too much. You know, it's had a stellar rally, though, and seeing a bit of cool off, a bit of profit booking. Now, actually, when you're talking about NTPC, uh, especially when it comes to the utility space, uh, what actually happens is that quarterly results are largely reflective of the guidance that the company has given, number one, in terms of capex, and the number two, in terms of the capitalization. Now, when you're talking about the results themselves, let's have a look at the results, largely operationally in line, but we look at the commentary, and, you know, that's something that's quite important to track. So, revenues are by almost 7.6% on a year-on-year -year basis, 47,600. EBITDA higher by almost 19% on a year-on-year -year basis, margins coming in quite strong, 29.8%, and profitability higher by almost 27% on a year-on-year -year basis. Now, let's look at the conference call. You know, some very important takeaways coming in from there. Number one, the company is targeting new thermal orders of almost 15.2 gigawatts in the coming years. That's quite a strong number that the company has given. Number two, for award of ordering pipeline as far as thermal activity is concerned, you know, has been expedited to 10.4 gigawatt in FY25. What was the earlier figure? The street was working with a figure of close to 4 gigawatt. So more than double is what the awarding activity will be, So which is a very positive read through as far as capital goods companies uh, like BHL are concerned. Number three, the most important and which has been the biggest uh, puzzling factor as far as NTPC is concerned is when will the company go ahead and raise money as far as the renewable arm is concerned. So the company has given a timeline this time around, October to November of this particular year is when the company expects to list the renewable energy platform. Uh, now, talking about the thermal power guidance for commissioning, 2.8 gigawatt commissioning expected in FY25, 1.5 gigawatt commissioning expected in 2026. Now, apart from that, the company is also targeting 7 gigawatt of PSP, it's a pump storage uh, capacity uh, addition over the next few years. So, you know, inline operationally, largely inline set of numbers, seeing a bit of profit booking, but a lot of positive takeaways as far as the conference call is concerned. Okay, but the stock is corrected a bit after hitting those record high levels in the morning. Is this the first time the company has given a timeline on the renewable power uh, business listing, Vivek? Uh, well, Rima, actually what happened was uh, earlier the company was working uh, with, you know, they had given the street uh, two options in which they would go ahead and unlock value. The first option was they said that they'd probably look at selling a stake. Uh, secondly, the company said that by the end of FY23, that they would go ahead and actually go ahead and list the renewable power business. So FY23 passed away, uh, uh, FY24 again, you know, nothing happened, but now there's a fresh definitive timeline that the company is working with. And along with that, right now there are more assets also as far as the renewable energy platform is concerned. So hopefully this time around that should list and that should unlock value as far as NTPC is concerned. Renewed push for the renewable business. Thank you very much Vivek for joining in but the stock is down one and a half percent. Get into